Hey everyone, how's it going? Ah, just a little update on my uh, calf shed that we were building. Uh, I didn't get any footage of it, but we put the old roof on the new frame. Now, last night we were uh, ripping off the old plywood to make uh, room for the new one. And we kind of found that there is a little bit of rot on the old roof specifically on the back you know where it, I think what was happening was one of the nails came out because this tin had uh, nails with the little gaskets on them and I think they were leaking is what it was we I don't use those nails. I use screws with the seal on them they're way better but uh, yeah so we had a little bit of rot here which is okay but kind of sucks uh, you can see it's a little bit bad right here. Uh, yeah, well, we're, we're we were thinking yesterday we should have just went with a new roof, but we're see this got this got right here and it was it was leaking down here. Right? That got rotted out, but we'll put the new plywood on and it'll it'll hold everything in place. Uh, I think I'll put another sheet on on the top there. But yeah, we're too far into it now, so. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and finish it off. I'll have to, uh, I'm going to, on the front part, we still got to square up the wall yet. Front part I'll be putting three quarter inch plywood, treated plywood. Uh, and that'll brace up the corners and everything, corners down there. And I have to rip this old one off. Put that uh, new beam down there. And it'll be pretty good. You know, we couldn't really tell how rotted it was until we got that plywood off, but oh well. It's it's not bad bad. This side's probably the best. Like, it's not horrible, but, you know, in hindsight, we probably would have put a, a brand new roof on it, so. Whatever, I just tried to save that roof frame. But, uh, yeah, it'll work out. So, yeah. I'll have a little more footage here as we uh, keep going along. Well, I'm back at the shed here. Uh, I got the one side on, well, both sides on. You see this part here, cut that. Uh, once I put, the, I got the roof centered there and got it really sturdy, it's not moving now. Still have to put the back and the corners. But I'll be using three quarter inch plywood for that. I just finished nailing this one on. Still has a few more nails to go. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this again because this roof was kind of rotten. Uh, maybe 20% of it was. But it, it'll, it'll work for the time being. Like the rest of it is all treated lumber. So I just have the back to go. And I gotta do something with this. I'm gonna. It looks like I'm gonna have to tear that whole middle part off and put a treated one there. And I have to put my post in the middle yet. So uh, it's gonna be. I did that one time before yet. So this is actually the second time I'm reconditioning this this part, the top part of that shed. So it's been. That's gonna be 25 years old. This part here. Gonna be a good 25 years old. So yeah, I just got the middle part and the back part, and she'll be ready to roll. Well, we got the back on. Top plywood on. Sean is just finishing it off, nailing it. Looks good, eh, Sean? So now we just got the front to do. And I'll start tearing that off right now. Okay, so I got my middle section measured, cut out, and nailed in. And all you do is just measure this uh, from the bottom of this 2x8 down to your 6x6. Six six, and that's what it should be here. And what happens is your middle section of your roof sags. So 
I used my floor jack with the, with the 2x4 and just jacked it up so I could get my 2x4 in there. I've built so many of these sheds, it's pretty much just second nature to me. I just give her. Right now I'm doing my middle section. And this is what it's going to look like here from the treated 3 quarter inch plywood. And I knocked that out pretty quick. Like I said, I've been doing it quite a long time now, so it's uh, pretty easy to measure those out. I just go uh, two feet across, uh, whatever the two by eight and what is it? Two, what is up there? Two by eight, two by four, fourteen. That's about fourteen inches. Well, that doesn't add up, but whatever I get down here plus the plus the top. So it adds up to about 14 inches. So I made about 14 and a half. And then uh, I just get my uh, three and a half inch two by four for the center section. And I'm just gonna cut it out now. Okay, well, I've got all the corners done. Bottom corner, top corner, middle is done. That side is done. Now all I need is the two by six to go across to keep the cows from going in there. And she's finished. Not bad. Uh, the roof, like I said before, the roof, some of the roof framing was a little bit rotten on the back, which I went on top and I could see why, because some of the tin was cracked. But I uh, put some uh, tin screws in and the, the guy who made these for us a long time ago used rubber uh, sealed nails. And the nails just worked themselves up, so. All right. Now I'm just waiting for Sean to uh, bring the 2x6. All right, now I got the 2x6 powered on and Sean's going to try and pull it out with the 6x6. There she is, all done. A little bit of a pull, put it on the snow. I'll end up using a tractor to pull it. Yeah, there it is. It's pretty sturdy now. And that's how you build a calf shed. Uh, that what is this? An eight by sixteen. And then you face it into the south where the sun shines in it, and they crawl in there, and it's that's their little home. Even at nighttime, it's even warmer in there. That makes a difference. You can see some calves have frost on their uh, fur, and then the ones in the shed don't have any frost. So, uh, Freddie likes it. What do you think, Freddie? These cats like to play in it. It's like one big box for them. But that's it for there. All right. Uh, that's how you build uh, the calf shed, so that's one more. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, click like, and leave your comments.